Hey everybody! Uh, welcome to this little short video lesson where we're going to be talking about this old Delta Blue style of uh, finger picking. Uh, essentially what we're going to be doing is playing quarter notes with our thumb on, well in this case the E string, but it could be another string, and then melodies with our fingers. So when I teach this technique, I love to show Smokestack Lightning, which is a great riff. Uh, I also like to show Suzy Q, so we'll talk about those ones today. Um, yeah, so let me show you what Smokestack Lightning sounds like, and then we'll kind of go through it. So I'll play a couple variations. One, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. That's just a couple different variations on this tune. This, uh, this tune is essentially just an E minor, but you'll notice, and this is popular with uh, especially blues and kind of bled into rock. Rock is known for having riffs, but essentially we have this repeating melody, or we could call it a riff that we're playing. So it's just E minor, but instead of just, this is not a very bluesy way of playing, what we do is we get this E sound, and then we're getting minor sounds from a little melody that we're playing. So this melody and Suzy Q is going to be completely inside of the E minor pentatonic scale. So let's make sure we know that. So let's go through it. I'll put it up on this, the page. It looks like this. Right? Uh, one thing I'll mention is this B note, the second string here, we're playing it open, but we could also, and we do in this tune, slide it up and get this. These are the same notes, right? A, B, A, B. So often it's easier to slide up here with that middle finger. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, another thing I want to point out here, and this is really important in blues tunes, um, or anything that's blues inflected, is this note here, the G note, the minor note. You will almost never hit it without bending it. So you'll see me do this throughout the tune. And if you've never done this before, you can kind of wait till you're feeling comfortable with the mechanics of it. But generally speaking, anytime we hit this note, we're always going to bend it just a little bit up. Um, this kind of comes from blues singing, where you're never going to hit that minor uh, dead on. You're going to always bend it up a little bit, reaching up towards the major sounds. Okay, anyways. <clears throat> so, the first thing I like to do is map out this melody that we're playing. Right? So this is the melody for Smokestack Lightning, the, the riff is. It goes like this. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to play that melody at the same time as just playing this kind of thumping uh, four notes on the floor, or four notes with our thumb. Um, and this can be quite tricky at first if you haven't done it. So one thing that I find really helps me when I'm doing this is to figure out what beats these land on. And it's not so important that you know whether it's on beat one or beat two or beat three, so if, if that confuses you, just think about it as whether it's on the beat or off the beat, right? So I'll show you. So this melody goes one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one. Now, again, if you don't know the numbers or you're not uh, used to counting, you, it, it will help just to go through. I think counting is the best way to do this. I think it's worthwhile to spend the time learning how to count. Um, but the most important thing here is whether it's on the beat, Right, so one, or on, on, off, off, on, on, off, on, off, on. So notice I'm nodding my head here or tapping my foot at the same time. That can help me know. I can even sing it and think about it. Ba, ba, ba. Notice I'm not clapping, so that means it's off the beat. If I'm clapping, it's on the beat, right? Ba, 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 da, ba, da, 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 da. So once we've kind of figured out whether it's on the beat or off the beat, that can make this a lot easier. Because we can think here, one, on, on, off. So that means it's not at the same time as I'm playing this thumb. I'm going to put it between the thumbs. Okay, so 
Uh, I'll put the tab up here. I think it's probably already up, but one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one. All right, I hit an extra note there. Now, the variations on this, once you're comfortable with that, you can try these variations. Uh, often you hear, uh, instead of going up, you go down. Still bend that note just a little bit, uh, but it's essentially the same. And the other variation you'll often see is these double stops, uh, which kind of add this C-sharp note, which is actually not in the minor pentonic scale, but we get this, uh, instead of just open and three, we'll just do two notes to exaggerate it, and we'll get these two notes, it's a nice tritone, to really kind of emphasize the tension there. Um, and that variation looks like this. Um, at this point, I think it's nice to spend some time trying out your own melodies. Like, anything that fits inside of this pentatonic shape can be done. You know, you can think of a melody that just goes ba di da do da di da do da and I can think, okay, is it on or off? ba di da do da di da do well, I guess that's all on if I'm doing it that way da di da do da di da do da and then I can try that Another one that uh, I'm always reminded of every time I hear Smokestack Lightning is the uh, Zappa and Beefheart tune. Trouble Never Stops. Which is essentially almost the same uh, riff there. It just goes down a pentatonic scale. Beep ba, a beep ba, boo ba, do da do do do. Always thinking of that song when that comes up. Um, so another one that's a little bit trickier here uh, is Suzy Q. So let's go through Suzy Q. So Suzy Q here, if we have this melody, um, you get this. Uh, so yeah, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four. And four. All of these riffs. They're all two bars long, they all start on beat two, um, and they're all in the minor pentatonic. Okay, uh, so once we got that melody, now we can try putting a thumb in there. Yeah, it just ends there. Um, so it's just repeating. I think that's pretty much the whole song. Uh, oh no, you have like a, there's some chords and there it goes. Susie Q, baby, I love you. Susie Q. Yeah, that's just an A7, a C, and a B. I'll put the tab up there just so you have that. But I didn't want to spend too long on this, but this is a fun technique, and it's nice to take melodies from any song that you know. They don't have to be pentatonic. They could be things that you come up with. Um, they could be from any tune. You could try this technique out because it's, it's a lot of fun and it's a cool thing to do just to jam and experiment with. Okay, well, until next time, I hope you enjoyed it. Toodles.